Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White, July 15th, Foolish Fanaticisms. Give me the Bible, star of gladness gleaming, to cheer the wanderer lone and tempest-tossed. No storm can hide that peaceful radiance beaming, since Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Give me the Bible, holy message shining, thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining, till night shall vanish in eternal day. Foolish Fanaticisms Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Titus chapter 1 verse 14 Letters have come to me asking in regard to the teaching of some who say that nothing that has life should be killed, not even insects, however annoying or distressing they may be. Is it possible that anyone claims that God has given him this message to give to the people? The Lord has never given any human being such a message. The people need to be enlightened in regard to what is truth. These side issues which arise are as hay, wood, and stubble compared with the truth for these last days. Idle tales are brought in as important truth, and by some, they are actually set up as tests. Messages have been born in regard to the cruelty of killing animals for food. These messages are true, but from them, some have caught the idea that no insects should be killed. Thus controversy has been created and minds have been diverted from present truth. God has told no one that it is a sin to kill the insects which destroy our peace and rest. In all his teachings, Christ gave no message of this character and his disciples are to teach only what he commanded them. I would say to my brethren and sisters, keep close to the instruction found in the word of God. Dwell upon the rich truths of the scriptures. Thus only can you become one in Christ. You have no time to engage in controversy regarding the killing of insects. Jesus has not placed this burden upon you. What is the chaff to the wheat? Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 28. The attributes of Christ are to be studied and earnestly sought for that every believer may be complete in him revealing the beauty of his character. We have no time for empty, foolish talk. Let us dwell upon the solemn, sacred truths for this time. God desires men and women to think soberly and candidly. They are to ascend to a higher and still higher grade, commanding a wider and still wider horizon. Looking unto Jesus, they are to be changed into his image. They are to spend their time in searching for the deep, everlasting truths of heaven. This Day with God, July 15th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.